guys, it's your girl Tori and welcome back to my channel. So, something slightly different today. Um, I had some people DM me on my Twitter um, asking me for my thoughts on the whole, what's his name again? Ted Nalen? Ted Nalen. I don't know much about the situation other than he's a journalist and he made a comment about Justin pretty much stating that he doesn't really look Filipino. Um, I think he hinted toward like, he was making a slight comment saying his nose was pointy or such like that, which to me makes it sound like he's stating, oh, Justin's had some type of surgery, like plastic surgery type thing, which no, um, absolutely not. But even, let's just say, even if he did, it's none of your business, dude, back off. Like, who are you to make a comment like that? He didn't do that. But, um, I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay for you to say who looks Filipino and who does not look Filipino. Now, mind you, I am not Filipino, okay? I'm not, I'm not from the Philippines. So people may or may not give a rat's ass what I have to say. And that is completely fine. I was asked how I felt about the situation. Therefore, I am talking about it. Um, like I said, I personally don't pay attention to like the news or journalists in general because I just feel like a lot of the things that are out there are just very negative or passive aggressive. And I'm not about that. I rather just focus on the positive vibes, spread good joy, good vibes around. Like there's too much hate in the world. I really don't like that negativity, to be honest. But this is talking about our man, Justin. Our Bunzo, my puppy, and I'm not okay with that. I don't think you should make a comment like that, not to Justin, not to any idol in general. Because I think, like I said, he mentioned something about Justin's nose being pointy or not pointy enough. I don't know what the deal is. I, I don't know at all. I do not speak Tagalog. All I know is that the family, all the men in the family are Ang Guapo Nila. Very handsome? Pogi. Handsome. I know Pogi handsome. And I think what I just said means very handsome like they are very handsome and then you know the mom is stunning beautiful beautiful okay so good jeans honestly the whole family has amazing jeans um i i know there are probably several others who have spoken about the situation or the comments um i do know we were tagged on mori mori quite a bit and I do believe, because I get notifications um, through Twitter because Emmy and I share Mori Mori. I think Emmy posted something about the situation as well. Um, her, her comments are her own. My comments are my own, of course. I'm not going to speak for Emmy. And I'm sure she's not speaking for me. She's never spoken for me. Whatever she says is hers. Just like whatever I say is mine. It's out of my mouth. So I take credit for that and same with her. Um, but again, like I just, I know he's older. I know he's an older journalist cause I did try to see a picture of him. So I'm wondering if it's just that mindset that older generations may have with not being as open-minded about, I'm assuming he's just against plastic surgery. And I think, what else? I think he mentioned something about not really being original, like uh, looking like K-pop, like style, like they're just trying to be like K-pop. No, I don't know why so many people go back to that. I don't understand. P-pop is Filipino music, okay? K-pop is Korean music, all right? You know, they create their own music video, their own story and all that stuff. It's pop music. Pop music. Okay, K-pop, there's nothing different, all right? Than P-pop. Same with just American, like, pop music. 
they go glamour we just have different styles of fashion and such like that which honestly i don't even listen to american pop music that much anymore to be honest it's not it doesn't interest me i love the dancing and p-pop and k-pop and j-pop and all that it, like i just hate that he would even compare p-pop to k-pop like i know a lot of people do that and some don't even mean to but they are different they are different they're different music okay same style pop that's the genre pop okay so i just don't understand that factor two um sb19 has discussed many um issues like about haters and such through their music they've supported how proud they are about the filipino or philippine flag like they're proud to be filipino so like they are representing their country majorly and for you to say oh they're just pretty much being like a knockoff of k-pop that's fucking rude to be honest with you all right um but again it could be just the age thing okay he's an older generation they're just set in their ways i'm just some older generation are not as open-minded or understanding or can process that like i'm going to use this as an example my grandfather which i call call him Tupa, who has passed away. God rest his soul. I love him and I miss him. He was not for tattoos. Didn't like them. Mind you, he retired from the Navy. Normally, Navy people had tattoos. He was not for it. He did not like tattoos. I have tattoos. So I had, he, I had to kind of like warm him up to the fact that I had tattoos. Older generation, newer generation, you know? we see things differently which he does need to apologize to Justin I think how he went about his comment and his mindset was very disrespectful so I do think he needs to apologize on that factor and educate himself on you know everything that he discussed there like I I just think he needs to educate himself most definitely on it and like I said y'all may not give a rat's ass what I'm saying. And that is completely fine. I am not Filipino. I am just an American who is speaking about this discussion, who has major love and support for SB19 and the Philippines and a lot of Filipino artists. So I, I don't like the stereotypical like mindset i don't like it when you stereotype a certain country and that's how they're supposed to look no absolutely not we are each different we each have different styles we each have you know ways that we want to go based off of some really like the clean look which is meaning like no tattoos and such okay are you telling me then they're not whatever i don't know like in let's Let's use another country as an example. Like I know in, is it Korea? For a while, you could not show your tattoos. Could not show your tattoos. And even in Japan, same thing. They would think that you're part of a gang or something like that. Now it's starting to open up, but back in the day it was so taboo because of the mindset, you know, older mindset and such. So we're slowly breaking free of those stereotypical type ways. And I do think he needs to educate himself on the fact that Things are changing. Generations, you know, are paving the way of the future now. Like, we're not going to always be tattoos are bad. Uh, plastic surgery is a no-go. No, it's your body. You do what you want. I don't like the fact that you're stereotyping Justin, who has not had anything like that done. Two, um, why... Why? I love the color of his hair. I think he made a comment about the color of his hair because K-pop idols, like, color their hair often. One, um, we do too. Us females <laughs> over here in America, I don't know about, I'm not going to speak about other people. I dye my hair quite a bit. My hair is, like, turning 
brunette now. It used to be like a dirty blonde, but I highlight it blonde. I get dark underneath. Sometimes I've had red. You know, I can't do a lot of funky colors because I work for a hospital. Emmy's had every color underneath the sun color. So what are you saying? That she's a K-pop person? Like, she's just being a K-pop wannabe? No, absolutely not. Like, I don't like that mindset that you just stereotypically think, oh, K-pops dye their hair color. K-pops have plastic surgery or whatever. Or, like, the type of music. Justin's song is completely his. 100%. Like, when I listened to Surreal, man, I, like, even if, it, like, let's say another artist performed it and I heard it and I watched it, the first SB19 member, if you asked me who out of SB19 can you picture singing this song? I would say Justin. That reads Justin all over it. It expresses Justin and who he is. I have to check the time because I'm on my lunch break. Sorry. Okay, I got time. <sighs> so, to make a comment saying that he's not really being original, I'm like, he is. Because what I see from this is that it's totally him. <coughs> he's being totally himself. And that's what I love about the group and him in general. He's just true to himself and who he is. And to see Arbunzo getting comments like that from a journalist who should know better um, is very disappointing. Again, Ted, I feel like you need to apologize majorly. And I feel like you should educate yourself. I'm sorry, but Justin deserves an apology. Please educate yourself a little bit before you make comments like that. And this is coming from an American who's a fan of K-pop, J-pop, Q-pop, P-pop, every type of pop out underneath the sun, okay? P-pop has a different vibe, a different style than other artists as well, okay? Different countries. It's, it's pop music. Just saying. And yeah, um, I guess I'll let you guys uh, go. Uh, again, I'm not really good at these type things, to be honest. Um, yeah. So comment down below. Let me know more about the situation. Because like I said, I don't really read too much into like journalist articles and such. They're all negative and news type things. So please comment down below. Plus I don't speak Tagalog like fluently and all that. I can say a word here, a word there, something like that. But I don't speak Kada uh, can't even speak English today. I I don't speak the language. Obviously I can't even speak English. But um Tell me more in depth. Like I said, I don't know the full story. That's just bits and pieces of what I've gathered from others. So, yeah. With that being said, guys, I love you. Support SP19.